Welcome to Cape Foulwind on the west coast of the South Island in New Zealand. Cape Foulwind, as the name suggests, gets some pretty bad wind. Today, not a bit of it, it's absolutely stunning. We, uh, we walked the coastal track this morning, around about 11 k's. A little bit of rain, a little bit of uh, the old squall came in and, and soaked us. Other than that, it's been like this all day, it's been glorious. A little bit of cloud coming in and out. Now, out on the horizon there, is something that's known as, I think it's Gibson's Beach. The stack out there is known as the Giant's Tooth, I think. I'm pretty sure that's called the Giant's Tooth. Anyway, you can't actually get down there because it's coming up to high tide and the, and the beach blocks off and it's just too dangerous to get down there. So this is up near the lighthouse. And this, this is a great little vantage point for it, actually. We've got some decent waves coming in there, around about two hours from sunset. But at the moment, we've got some really nice light on there. And I'm just, and I'm just sat here, just picking off shots, just chilling out, enjoying the day, enjoying the weather. We've got some lovely moody clouds in the background. I've got the Nikon D3S with the old Nikon 200 to 500. And that's just drawing in. 500 is probably a little bit tight, tighter than I want. 200, 300 millimeter focal length. And that is just, uh, it's beautiful. And so uh, yeah, let's just chill out guys and, and snap a few shots as we're going along. I'd like the sun to be a bit lower we're about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes away from high tide as well, which should push some big waves onto the scene. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to nip down to the van. The van is literally just there. I can see the top of the van from here. Mrs. is just having a little bit of a nana nap. And uh, she'll love me for saying that. But she's having a little bit of a power hour. I'm going to nip down there. I'm going to get the tripod, I think, because although, although it's easily, it's easy to handhold this, as the light gets down further, obviously it's going to be a bit, uh, bit more awkward handholding the shot. But I think it's going to make some really nice shots. I've got a, I've got a couple of I've got a couple of potentials now. But I think it can get better. I think the light can get better. The only slight worry I've got is, which is why I came up here in the first place to shoot it now, is that we've got quite a bit of cloud rolling in and out. And when it gets to the optimal time, we could lose the light. I don't know. So I've just been reading on the signpost. The rock that I'm photographing, that I thought was called the giant's tooth, is not actually the giant's tooth. The giant's tooth was extracted and destroyed way back during an earthquake. This one, I don't believe it's got a name. If it has got a name, it doesn't actually say it on the notice board. So we will just call it the big rock. Sounds good. So I'm back with a tripod. Unfortunately, the light's gone. Well, a minute, we've got a bit of a clear patch out there. But as the, as the sun drops closer to the horizon, we've got a big bank of cloud out over the Tasman Sea. And I think that's just gonna, gonna kill any last golden light we get. But, you, but I don't know, you live in hope. If we get lucky, we might get a last, last bit of golden light. And if not, if you don't get the last bit of golden light, we'll definitely get some nice color in that sky as the sun goes down. So. Uh, so either way, I think we, we should be okay. That is so much better. Sitting on a tripod, as the light levels drop, is gonna, is gonna pay dividends. I'm talking quietly because this is quite a popular walkway and I don't want people sneaking up on me. But then, like I advised somebody the other day, what you do, you always have your phone in your hand. And if you get people, if you're talking to the video, and somebody walks past you, you pick up the phone and you talk on your phone. It's pretty cool. There's somebody down there actually. Let's keep it quiet. We're about 40 minutes away from sunset. And to be honest with you, I think I've had the best of the light because uh, we've got a big bank of cloud rolling in off the Tasman. And I think that's just going to kill any last light on the rock. And we may actually get some rain coming out of this cloud, so I'm going to uh, get jacketed up just in case because I could be making a mad dash back to the van because I think it's going to get wet and it's going to get miserable. Although I'm personally not bothered about getting wet, I'm not really keen on the camera getting too wet. And like a mug, I forgot to bring the rain cover. But there you go. No light on the scene at all, no definition, there's no nothing. So the shots I got earlier are looking like the shots we're going to end up with. Once the squall gets through, if the light does change, 
it's only two minutes down to the van. I'll, uh, I'll head back up here and finish off what I started. So after a seriously mad dash to the car to avoid that rain, which I didn't avoid anyway, I got soaked, my camera got soaked, but it's, it's all okay, it's okay. Dried my gear off, just deciding to call it a draw for the night. And then I could see the last slither of light in the sky. Storm clouds in the back, race back up the hill and, and here I am. We may get a little bit of colour out of sunset. It's looking quite nice out there to be honest. But like I say, the subject is flat, it's boring, there's nothing happening at all, not a thing. I had a wee rainbow over the top so I got a quick shot with that, with the, with the vlogging camera. So that's the Canon M50 and I shot it with around about 28mm focal length on the kit lens which is so uh, how good that's going to come out is god only knows uh, but quick grab shot set works morning guys decided to stay around this area one more night cape foul wind not a breath of wind absolutely crystal clear it's beautiful this morning had a good feed at the local pub camped in the pub owner's back garden which was great obviously the sun's rising right into the lens it's giving me that really nice soft warm glow and it's it's pretty gorgeous actually i mean the sun's quite harsh now so it's everything's in silhouette now but it's, oh, it's just looking beautiful i think i've squeezed out as much as i can on this little short visit to cape firewind it's a place i'll definitely definitely come back to it is phenomenal it's fantastic from here the shot is definitely the the sun setting shot rather than the sun rising shot that's how i feel at the moment when i get them on the computer give them a little tweak because everything's shot in raw so I'll give me a little tweak, highlight, shadows, contrast, that sort of thing. We'll see how it goes. But for the moment, keep following. Have a beautiful day, guys. Catch you on the next vlog.